Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and today I want to talk to you about using the brainstorm feature which is this little button here with the thought bubble with the light in it and I want to show you what that does and how to use it and why it's so cool so let's get on with it might as well so the brainstorm button when you click on it it takes a group of properties or effects that you have selected and makes a bunch of different random options for you to pick from and you can see what it looks like in the uh, um, in the panel so might as well just show you off the bat so let's just add some effects here and um, let's maybe let's add like where's the blurs let's go to the blurs we'll add like uh, CC radial blur that might work and um, let's do transition Venetian blinds alright so we've got these two um, selected right now I just selected them now if I come down to this brainstorm button and click on it it's gonna bring up a few ideas of things that I can make with this with these effects and it's got a randomness uh, variation here and um, we got a play pause button so you can see how it's gonna um, show up and work so you can see that this one's swirling um, these ones are just kinda not doing too much or whatever so and then I can pause it here's my transparency show where transparency is coming through and you can also hit this let me stop it stop there we go <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, how many times do I gotta hit stop to make it stop? Anyways, you can hit this again to get to uh, the next brainstorm, and we can just like try to like look at those and see what we want. So let's pick um, this one here, and you click this button here to apply it, and we can save it as a new comp. Um, we can go full frame here to see what it actually looks like. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, little feature that it's got going on. And then we've got include and next brainstorm, so you can like save tiles. So let's save this one, and then brainstorm, and we'll keep that one. And then it's going to be like brainstormed off of that one. So that's kind of cool. So let's go back to what we had and uninclude it. Let's try increasing up the randomness here. Let's go 75. Brainstorm. Now what do we got? A bunch of different things. Cool. Like uh, this one looks kind of cool. You can see it's like a little bit of uh, uh, Venetian blinds on the edges here. That one's like trippy looking. Shouldn't have picked a blur. It's kind of hard to look at it a little bit. But let's add it, uh, apply it. And then if I play, this is what we get. So if I, maybe I want to turn my background on. And uh, that's what we got going on here. The Venetian blinds is just a uh, transition that uses like kind of blinds to... Um, make the transition so um, that's the brainstorm feature you can take uh, like position and things like that also so if I go to position and I want to brainstorm that it's gonna just change uh, the randomness of where the position is and you can see that here so pretty much there's no keyframes on this one so let's uh, cancel that out it's gonna stay where it is let's put some keyframes in here and put a keyframe there select these keyframes and the position now if we play it well it doesn't it doesn't look like it's uh, moving around too much but it's like not not moving at all so I guess that doesn't doesn't work. Let's try moving it while we're doing the keyframes. Like this. Ah, that's why. Position isn't moving. So we got this here on this keyframe. There we go. Now we've got some movement. Let's move this over here now. There we go. Now let's try the brainstorm. 
now you can see that the uh, brainstorm will work with your keyframes that you've got going on there. So now, if I if you look here, if I stop it, it uh, kind of like renders it out, and I'll play them going with your keyframes um, to see what's going on. So that helps out. The brainstorm doesn't work with uh, um, masks, but it does work with the the mask properties. It um, can create variations with the mask feather, the mask opacity, and the expansion, but it's not gonna um, create a random mask for you. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we can add the we can add uh, brainstorms to like layer styles. So um, let me uh, let's go to layer styles here, and we can add in the like a outer glow. Oops, I turned it off. And I've got the uh, outer glow here, and now I can brainstorm that. It should give me different outer glows. Let's increase the randomness. Brainstorm. Now it's got different kinds of outer glows. Like this one's all like weird, different looking, as you can see. And this one is not as, not as intense. So you can uh, use it with the layer styles. Um, not those. So there's the layer styles. There's the transformation properties. There's um, effect properties. So if you're like really having like a mental block or you need some creativity boost or whatever, then uh, just go ahead and use the uh, the brainstorm feature and that'll help you like, I don't know, pretty much come up with some ideas. So that's cool. I like that feature a lot. It's really good on text, so I'll just throw some text in here and uh, th um, throw a couple features on it. Text brain waves. So let's throw a couple effects on there. Um, box blur. And then let's go to stylize. Let's go to this rough and edges. And let's just do some things here. And it's got a couple, couple different looking things here. Let's increase the randomness to 50%. Brainstorm it again. And you can see the different effects that we get see if it does any other parameters no so pretty much uh, that's that's how uh, this works so works on text it works on video it works on shape layers so if I create a shape layer um, actually just draw draw one out so we got a shape layer there and let's add a an effect. Um, let's see if I can. There's one that worked pretty good the last time that I used this called Flow Motion. It was in Distort. That's what it was. Let's put that on there. And uh, let's look at the different kind of effects that it'll create for us. Add that, and we got that. So, I mean. The effect makes some pretty cool stuff and comes up with different looking things for you. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's it for uh, brainstorming. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Just click on it to get yourself some more ideas, pretty much. Thanks for uh, watching the tutorial. And also, it's actually good for, uh, like, if you um, put the effect on and then you go to brainstorm. And then you can see how they use the... Uh, the effect to create different effects so what I mean is let me click on it again so we've got the effect going on here and you want to know how to how the hell do I even make this effect right here now if I click on it and apply it the parameters change and I have now learned how to make this cool looking effect so um, there you go that's how um, some people figure out how to make cool effects that no one else has ever thought of. So, uh, there, use that.
Thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. Give us thumb, give a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hated it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.